Hi, this is Shady. Today we're going to be looking at Japanese police's training and sparring competitions. There's a bunch of formats with different uh, variations of a sparring context. So I've talked about Jukan Jutsu, the one that you see here uh, in front of you. You have people who practice Tan Kendo, Kendo, and Ju Kendo all spar against each other and also they would get close and even grapple this is the world war ii era and you can see you can grapple while using your weapon and fortunately this type of training and even competition is not uh, it's not gone it still exists very much and they still compete so we're going to be looking at a few examples so you see here you have the Kendo-like uh, targets, which is the torso, the head, the wrists, and here you see various types of weapons. You have the stick, you have the short sword, long sword, and uh, here uh, you can even kick while getting in or grapple, and here a massive uranage, great arch by the policeman, and you can win also by the throw, so uranage. Many of you call it suplex, and uh, it means rear throw. It's great as a counter, or when someone's distance is you know, closed in, as you can see here. So as you see, you have different weapons against each other. You can uh, kick and close in the distance, and you can get in and grapple. Here you see he's grabbing the stick, while the other one is grabbing the short sword. They got close, they clinched, and threw him. Um, here you see you have a very small knife against the short sword still you can thrust you can strike with it here you can see also um, the guy with the stick tried to do like an uchimata but with a seoi nage uh, grip or ippon seoi grip and ends up rolling him over like this with an uchi makikomi so it's a sacrificing technique and um, you can see that he actually tried to reap on the inside of the leg but ended up with this uh, technique again both grabbing the weapons once that distance is closed your weapon has very little use unless it can slice otherwise you, you just kind of have to grapple or disengage so here you see again you can thrust and stab if you have the very short uh, knife and uh, again various uh, weapons against each other you even have just the gauntlets you strike uh, it's a bit like point uh, striking but you kind of I'm not sure about the kiai like in kendo you really have to show you know uh, like earnest strikes here you see their type of training um, against weapons or here you see he just took it out of his hand I'm assuming it's a baton and not so much a blade you see these wrist locks that you see in self-defense so it's pretty nice to see that these types of uh, competitions still do exist and not just back in the imperial days of Japan and uh, police training should be like this wear the armor strike whatever even in the book mind over muscle Kano said we should take things from kendo we can make cloth weapons or inflatable weapons and really attack each other uh, with them and uh, take kata from kendo and uh, drills and also of course judo's grappling to be added to it so he kind of wanted something like this when he says inflatable weapons and weapons made out of cloth it means that he wants you to strike wholeheartedly so this is what Kano wanted and uh, this coupled with regular randori of judo would make great practice in my opinion so let me know what you think down below consider supporting me on patreon for exclusive content this was Shadi and thank you for listening